Hello and welcome to Goblins and Aliens. This is my monthly roundup of what I've been up to and a one year channel anniversary Q&A. Hope you enjoy the video. I'd like to start off by saying a massive thank you to my good buddy over at The Spook Show on Instagram. He's kindly donated a care package of these Frostgrave miniatures. I've never painted Frostgrave before, um, but these guys are absolutely fantastic. Uh, so I've got an idea for a Morkborg themed gang that I'd like to set up and even start playing the game. He also sent me some books. Status Dead Zone, a Necromunda book. The Witch Hunter, the size of that. Take a while. And a 1995 Ultramarine Codex. I mean, wow. Like, just going through this just takes me right back to my youth. Absolutely fantastic. Thank you very much. Very, very much appreciated. This month, I've managed to release three videos. First being this Skaven Plague Monk, painted as Master Splinter. Enjoyed painting this one, trying to get that object source lighting going on. Tried a, a few new effects there. Painted a Terminator in the Deathwing style. I have already gifted that off to my friend, so I have nothing to show, but you can see that video. And lastly, I painted this Winged Tyranid Prime uh, water model. There's so much detail on here that it's so much fun to paint. Um, absolutely loved the whole experience. So, tried out some new techniques this month uh, on both the Deathwing Terminator and the wings here. Uh, lots of little stripes and glazing over. So, check their videos out to see what I mean. I will be doing more of that. To come in the next month, I do have a wedding that I'm attending, so that will take a chunk of time out at the beginning. It's been it's a, in Poland, so it's a, a week-long thing. Uh, though, as soon as I get back, I'll be firing into painting with with a passion. Uh, it will be October. I will participate. Uh, I do love painting orcs. So that will be one of, uh, one of my videos, hopefully. Uh, as well as going through the, the pile of shame, or the the mountain of plastic that's still grey, I do have a few models, uh, especially Tau, uh, the stealth suits that I want to paint. And I've got the idea of painting one up like Dizzy the Egg. <laughs> it's an old, old, old video game. But I also want to paint one up in the same colour scheme as a Bullfinch. Bizarrely. They remind me of them, and I do enjoy a bit of ornithology, so I'm trying to combine both my hobbies. So that will be, fingers crossed, the, the paintings for next month. On to the Q&A section of the video. As I said, this is the one year celebration of the channel being up and running. It's been an absolute joy. And I reached out to everybody on the, the YouTube and the Instagram channels to see if anyone had any questions. Um, unfortunately, my spread is not as wide. I got three questions, but my daughter did supply some extras and some of my other buddies chipped in as well. So question one came from Mike from Negative Gradient Paints. Which model of the ones you've painted is your personal favorite to paint? not just the looks. The answer to that one is this Space Marine Captain. The reason being is that I spent a lot of time and effort on this model. I concentrated on trying to get the highlights really bright. One thing I'm guilty of is not painting bright enough. I've always felt like that grim dark was my vibe until I started trying non-metallic metal and this was one of the, the models that I, I felt that I succeeded ever so slightly. Now, non-metallic metal, yes, it's a difficult technique to master, but it's not a difficult technique to try. So I kept trying and in doing so, I, I got better at glazing. So as a byproduct of trying one technique, it helped me in another. So that is why I'd say this is my favourite that I've painted. 
and it's because I spent a long time painting it. We, we did it on a, a family holiday to Hunter's Key and it was absolutely tipping down and we were just stuck in the, the caravan for most of the time so it gave me a perfect opportunity to paint this guy. So there's your answer on that. The next question I have is from Maltesia Birch, uh, a fellow YouTuber. She says, love your YouTube content, where your videos are getting better, what is your secret? It's simply listening. I have a good friend, Chris, who studied film and media, and I show him my videos, he tells me where I've, I could improve, and I work on those improvements. Any of the comments that I've had previously saying about the sound, I've worked on that. I've had a friend of mine, Matt, saying that I look quite red in my videos, so I've tweaked the, the, the visuals. It's all about taking in as much info as possible and inputting it. I also spend a lot of time watching YouTube uh, tutorials on how to make videos and how to just how to create. Uh, and it's become an obsession of its own and the, the editing is uh, one of my new favourite hobbies and I thoroughly enjoy spending time looking at that laptop, clipping, squeezing, straight, <laughs> just spending the time to editing. Uh, music's become a big thing for me with this. Um, finding the challenge of getting the sound right Granted, I don't use a professional microphone, and I do intend on purchasing one at some point to help the audio. I understand these videos are um, part visual, part audio. But what I find with the music is, if I start listening to a type of music that week, it becomes the soundtrack of the next video. For instance, uh, I got given Carto Alto, a, uh, a Glaswegian jazz musician, and all of a sudden that was I lived with jazz in my head, therefore it came out in the video. Uh, so essentially, listen to everybody's views, um, implement them when you can, and try and home in where you feel that, that you're getting it right. In regards to painting, it's all about practice, it's about finding your favourite zone and of how you paint and just keep painting that way. Thank you for the question. This next question comes from Eve of Destruction. How did you get into painting and what's your favourite model you've ever painted? So my story of how I got into painting, when I was a young kid uh, I had a friend at school that was into Games Workshop stuff. You'd see the Space Crusade and um, Hero Quest adverts on telly and it completely encaptured my imagination. So I started way back. Uh, I used to save up my pocket monies and birthday and Christmas you know, donations to, to spend on Games Workshop. Um, then life gets in the way, you grow up, you move out, you you, you just enjoy being a, a young adult and then into adulthood. Then I get back into it, and the reason being, an old friend of mine, Tony, uh, sourced this game of uh, Pandemic Reign of Cthulhu, and I'm a huge HP Lovecraft fan. So when he saw this in a charity shop, he said, I've just found it, would you like it? And I said, yes, so he picked it up for me. I opened the box to find that it was full of tiny little miniatures. Which then reminded me that I used to paint when I was a kid. So my daughter and I, we went to the Edinburgh Fringe and we had a lovely day. Then I passed the Games Workshop, now called Warhammer. And I thought, I could paint these guys. So I had a look at the, uh, the starter sets and how much the paints were. And to my surprise, they, they'd gone up quite a bit. And on the train home from Edinburgh, kind of convinced myself to pop into the Warhammer store in Glasgow and just get the starter set. And that's where I started all over again. And that's where this channel comes from. It originally was just a, a journal of what I was painting and tried the, the YouTube for a bit. It didn't quite work the way I wanted it and again life takes over and I patched it. 
and then I came back to it and started afresh as Goblins and Aliens with, uh, with a new spring in my step. And I do intend to continue, so thank you for the question. Moving on to my daughter's questions. Bear in mind, she's an eight-year-old girl, but she's got a keen eye and a, a sharp wee brain. She starts off with, why do you paint? For fun? For show? For games? For competitions? Why? And the answer is simply for the sheer enjoyment of it. Uh, I am guilty of never playing a game of Warhammer. I still intend on doing so. Um, I don't enter competitions, but that is something I plan on doing in the new year. Essentially, I paint just for relaxation, for zen, just to let the day disappear. And I can sit here for a few hours painting without even realizing the time passing. So it's a nice creative way of I wouldn't say expressing myself, but it's just a nice way of chilling. So that's question one from her. What are my five favorite paint colors to use for blending, highlights, or painting in general? So that was a loaded question, and I loved it. So I made a point of writing them down. The first one being black red, deep sea green, Japanese uniform World War II, deck tan and ice yellow. Each one of them have become a regular feature in my painting. Uh, good starting points for glazing. They, they dilute well. When it comes to highlights, you can add these deck tans and ice yellows into most colors and it really vamps them up without losing the saturation. So yeah, those are my five favorite. Then she asks, can I paint a model just using M5? So there's the, the combined question, and yes, I will paint a model just using M5. And there's another question that comes from my friend Chris, who's pointed out that the channel name being Goblins and Aliens, that I've painted an awful lot of aliens. When am I gonna paint a goblin? The answer being, very soon. And uh, I will be using Aira's request to use just the five colors on this wee filler. I wish I picked another green in that option for a goblin, but that will be my next video. Thanks for the questions, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.